So when we think about the idea of our mission is you, specific for community counseling, what we're thinking of is that each client and each presenting problem is different and unique. Each person is going to be treated in a way that helps them meet their specific goals or objectives for coming to counseling. I'm Megan Jones. I'm the Behavioral Health Branch Head here at MCRD San Diego and for the Western Recruiting Region. Our community counseling program offers short-term non-medical counseling services. We provide virtual and in-person services. We're very familiar with serving drill instructors, recruiters, and their families. A first appointment with a clinician, if you've never been to counseling before, can feel a little overwhelming, but it's really not at all once you're there. You can be expected to be greeted warmly, um, to be provided information about all of the services that you're receiving, to understand really the rules of confidentiality, um, and to really understand what this program is and what we're designed to do. You can expect to start talking about your general background, your family history, your childhood, um, all of the unique things that make you you, as well as starting to focus on what are some of the things that you want out of coming to counseling. What would you like to see change and what would you like to see improve? Woven throughout that, we're also always looking for strengths. So we're going to look at what do you already have in place or what's natural about you that will help you thrive as you work towards your goals. We've got a staff of really, really strong clinicians here. Um, these are great providers who are excited and engaged to help and who are very familiar with the challenges of the military. So each quarter we're seeing that number go up. People are coming to CCP because their friends are recommending it. Um, and we love that because really what works best in reducing and breaking stigma is talking about our good experiences and helping others feel comfortable based on sharing what we've gone through and what we've learned. Um, so I would always say anything that we can do to talk about our own experiences with helping providers is valuable.